Okay, I think. Oh my god, how cute is my background? Can you tell my favourite colour? Pink. So, this is my first ever YouTube video. I thought, why not? Just start a YouTube channel. I've literally wanted to do this since I've got I haven't faked time, we don't fake time in quarantine. Um, I wanted to do a YouTube channel since I was literally about 12. So I just thought, I'm so bored, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. So, it's the first one I thought I would just do combine my favourite two things, makeup and talking about myself. So I just thought I'd Google some questions. Oh my god, look, I dropped my mirror. Seven years bad look. Does that look great? But I just thought I'd answer a few questions about myself that I found on the internet. <laughs> no one's asked me these. And and do my makeup at the same time. I spent forever making this cute little background. Pictures of my favourite people up here. Makeup's down here, and I look at the questions on my laptop, so if I'm looking down there, that's what it's at. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed the video, this is my first one, I'm a little bit nervous, but here we go. Start doing some makeup. Um, This is my primer, the Maybelline New York Face Studio Prime, because I have big old pores, thanks to my mother. They are so big, and like it's really annoying because... I have like oily skin here and, and it could be dry around my mouth and it's just a little so then like, what do I use then? Do I use a foundation that's for oily skin because I'm oily here or for dry skin because I'm dry here? First world problems. Um, where do you currently live? Right now I am in Wolverhampton back at home but previously I was living my best life in Nottingham because um, that's where I go to uni. I've just, I'm coming up to finishing my first year at uni and I loved it. It was so much fun. I don't know whether like it's just because it was something new because it's not Wolverhampton, but the city is great. I love the city. So many places to eat because eating's like my favourite thing to do. So many good nights out. Really great place. Who is your best friend? I have like a few best best few best friends. Um I would say, oh my god, shout out Liv, Nats, Esther. They're probably like my three or my boyfriend, but it's boyfriend recount. And then, like, obviously, my uni best mates. So, like, Elise, Izzy, Sophie, Alex, which is so weird. Like, I would consider them my, I'm not doing anything, I need to do makeup. I would consider them my best mates, but I, how crazy this time last year, I didn't even know they existed. It's mad. It is crazy. How tall are you? Five foot five. I've got really short legs. Like, my boyfriend takes piss out of me all the time because he says that my knees are where my ankles should be. Wait, is that right? Anyway, they're really short and they're kind of stumpy, which is just great. Um, dogs or cats? Mm. See, I've only ever had cats because my parents have always worked and it's not really that fair to leave a dog in the house if you're going out all day and obviously me and my brother were at school so we weren't in the house to look after them and I feel like cats are just so easy aren't they so I love cats because that's what I'm used to I've always had cats and they're just so self-sufficient just sleep all day but then again they do nothing so how can you be so tired to sleep all day oh I need the mirror um ah yeah it's not gonna work a lot of work but i love dogs and me and my brother and my dad to be fair i like begging my mum for a dog like we would love a dog but sad calls the shots around here so depending on whether she changes her mind this foundation is not my usual foundation my usual foundation is the huda beauty one although that is very dark because it's so full coverage i don't really use it for like day to day i use it to go out and when I go out, I love to fake tan. <sighs> so that's why that's so dark. So I can't really use it right now because I'm not fake tanned. I've decided to lay off the fake tan, give my skin a rest. Because you honestly lose a layer of skin every time you fake tan. Well, I don't know if that's actual science, but I feel like it is. Because some tans like, just don't come off. They're exfoliating in the shower until you're red raw. And it can't be good for you, surely. So I thought, give my skin a break. And who else am I fake tanning for? Like, 
no one sees me um so yeah this is the maybelline foundation and it's really cheap but other than that oh my god another really great cheap foundation is the uh my friend Liv told me to get this the wet and wild foundation i thought am i being stupid i thought wet and wild was like a surfing brand i don't know if that's really stupid but i thought it was and then their foundation and makeup everything and it's the best like it is honestly about four pounds and i honestly think it's like a proper good cheap version of the huda beauty foundation so i love that one too but it is my favorite so i don't want to just use it up to sit in the house um did i even answer my question about dogs and cats i love both i have cats but i want a dog and i just love dogs uh funniest moment throughout high school my mates in high school were fucking weird like we just did the weirdest stuff that we would find hilarious but i don't know if it actually is funny but there was one um moment that stands out amongst the rest which is with esther <gasps> it's not in high school oh my god she might just kill me if I... no one's gonna be fucking watching this are they my mum my dad maybe my nan who's gonna watch this so it doesn't really matter um we were, ah so we <laughs> we dressed up as boys basically we originally were feeling a bit a bit scandalous we just wanted to cause a bit of mayhem a bit of mischief we were very bored we wanted to go and egg people's houses and then i was like mm, maybe not and then she was like let's flower people's houses and all that's essentially the same thing so from that we came to the conclusion we were going to dress up as boys so we put my brother's clothes on and like drew fake moustaches and then we went to where, because we worked at this pub, we went there and we were like looking through all the windows, like through the windows dressed as boys and the regulars, one of the regulars was like, we got proper spooked and like we ran off and then the manager was coming out to get us and we had to like make a fast get away but I don't have central locking on my car so I was trying to unlock for the key and I couldn't get in and oh, it sounds not funny but honestly, I think I did, well I did wean myself a bit, I was laughing so are you in have you gone to college i feel like college means university no um yes i have i am in university my first year i do marketing it's a i've just done my first year out of four years i love it i'm so not like a i don't know if i'm academic i'm way more like at school i was always like history english Spanish until I got to A level and that was just a complete disaster but like GCSE Spanish oh, I was thriving art I'm more creative I feel like people say either like maths and science or English and history I was definitely English and history and all that um so I knew I didn't want to do like a really like hard <laughs> subject at uni and I love business so I want to do a bit more niche I feel like everyone's a fucking business student business management so I was like, marketing, let's go. And it's so interesting. I love it. So much fun. Um, what is your favourite drink? Non-alcoholic drink would be, well, fizzy drink, Dr Pepper. I love Dr Pepper. Um, or Vimto, but still Vimto, like Vimto squash. I remember my friend, she had this like pink, Vimto, oh it was sensational, a real treat for the taste buds it was, it was lovely. Um, vodka and orange, if I was to say alcoholic drink. Because it's just so easy to drink, like you can't taste the vodka, because I feel like with Coke, I don't know if it accentuates the vodka, I don't know, Ugh. Esther tries to make me drink Red Bull and vodka. Do you want me to have a heart attack right there on the spot? Like Red Bull. It's just a heart attack in the can. Then add vodka. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. And I've seen it with my own eyes. She is a disaster when she drinks it. So I'm not going to get on that. So vodka and orange juice or gin. But not tonic. If you don't like gin, it's not because you don't like gin. It's because you don't like tonic. Go with lemonade. Mm, delicious. Um, what is your spirit animal and why? Um, I'm not very spiritual. I don't know what that means. But... I will say my favourite animal is a giraffe. It was because, it originally was a giraffe because I used to be so tall. Compared to everyone now, I'm really not, I'm pretty average, but I used to be so tall. 
Like, I remember, like, even boys would literally come up to here on me. I used to be a fucking golly green giant. So I, was, I felt like, apparently I felt I could relate to a giraffe on a personal level because they're really tall and I was tall. That was my reasoning. Anyway. And, um, yeah, so it used to be a giraffe. Well, it still is a giraffe. I love sharks. I don't know why. Like, I'd fuck, I don't want to swim with a shark. And if I saw a shark, I would be so scared. But, like, I think they're so cool. I think they're really cool. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Oh, for sure. My ears are huge. <laughs> Ew, the skies, those. For sure, Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, it's the best perfume ever. Everyone knows what it is. Like, when they smell it, I feel like it's one of those perfumes. I had it. I keep the odd bottles because they're so pretty and also fucking ninety pounds for perfume. I'm not throwing away, throwing away the bottle afterwards. So I've got one, two, three, four. I think I know I've got a fifth bottle somewhere. Yeah, I'm on my fifth bottle now. It's I don't just buy it. I get it for like birthday or Christmas because it is so spenny. But definitely black opium. Why I sell? It's a delicious. Um, tea or coffee? If you drink tea. <gasps> It's literally dirty water. Like, I look at a mug of tea. I look at the dirty dish water in the sink. Please tell me what the difference is. They're the exact same colour and they smell the same. Gross. Coffee all the way. But I have had to request decaf coffee on the shop this week because I'm bored all of the time in isolation, as everyone is. So I'm just drinking coffee because everyone just drinks tea my house so every time they have a tea i have coffee and i'm drinking way too much and i am bouncing off the walls and i cannot sleep at night so I've had to request some decaf what are your life goals um in terms of like oh by the way normally i would use the um laura mercier translucent powder however i've run out of that and because i'm not going out anywhere i can't bear to spend how much is it like 40 pounds on a powder even though it's not like it's going to disappear, like, I'm still going to buy it, but I'd rather buy it. It makes sense in my head to not buy it now, but to buy it when I can finally go out. I don't really see the logic, actually, after having said that out loud, but, yeah, I just can't bring myself to spend £40 on a powder. So, this Rimmel Match Perfection one is pretty good, to be fair, but my actual favourite, like, non-expensive one is the RCMA one, but... So I'm sat on my bed right now, I don't want to be pouring powder everywhere, so I'm just going to use this one because I can pour it in the lid. Um, yeah, what are my life goals? In terms of working, I'd love to one day be like a marketing director. That is like the goal. I just love marketing. Like it sounds fucking pathetic and like I love marketing, but I do. It's so interesting. Like I'd be so happy to do that for the rest of my life. Obviously love to be a youtuber i feel like everyone would love to be a youtuber but you've also got to be realistic so i'd love to do marketing marketing director marketing manager working with loads of cool brands it'd just be so much fun um what sports do you play or have you played i feel like everyone was sporty in like middle school and then it just was like mm. well, for me anyway i always did dance but everyone's like that's not a sport it's an art and it's ex an expressive art form but I'm sorry, it's a sport. I used to come out of dance sessions, out of that dance studio, dripping in sweat. Like, you can't tell me that's not a sport. So I did dance from the age of literally, like, I want to say, like, three, four. But I also, in, like, middle school, would do... Also, I don't bake. I just feel like it makes my skin look really textured. I feel like it looks really flawless if you've got, like, no pores. But as I've already said, I've got moon craters for pores, so just bouncing it in works better for me um so yeah playing in like middle school netball rounders god i've got an absolutely delightful photo of me downstairs and my rounders kit for rounders bass god it's really it's so nice like chubby cheeks have bunchy like pigtails at like aged 11 i feel like that should have not been a thing past the age of three but apparently i made it a thing um, have any books you read changed your life? Well, uh, no, not changed my life, but I love the book. Is it down there? Oh, yeah. How convenient. Hashtag, not an ad. 
um milk and honey i feel like everyone got this silver at one point but it's so good like it has so many cool she's rupee i don't know i know that she has a few books and they're different like themes for different purposes but this one has like the hurting the loving the breaking the healing i feel like this is for like breakups and stuff never had a breakup <laughs> but it was really good like some of them are such like nice inspirational quotes if you're feeling a bit down just read one of these and it's really great like i'm gonna find a cute quote we are all born so beautiful the greatest tragedy is being convinced we are not how can that not put you in a great mood so i like that book i feel like a book that will change my life that i need to read is the anne frank diary i feel like i started reading it in like year four but i feel that's a bit of a deep novel for eight nine years to be reading so i don't think i actually read all that but i've got it i got it when i went to amsterdam that was my favorite place in amsterdam for, for sure was like going to the anne frank museum such a cool place but i feel like that's going to be like a life-changing book to read about that but um no i haven't really read any books that changed my life um what is your favorite movie angus hong's and perfect snogging oh my god i love that film i feel like it's such a british film i feel like every british girl has watched that haven't they to be honest but um i love that film such a feel-good film it's so relatable because like the main character, like, she's so she's pretty in her own right, but she's not, like, the stereotypical pretty. So it's so much more relatable. And, everything, and like, my nose is huge. Schnoz. And my chin, but we're not going to get into that. That's just... No. Um, yeah, she, like, always complained about her huge nose. I was like, oh, my God, Georgia Nicholson, me too. Like, I can relate to you on a personal level there, Georgia. So, um, yeah, I just loved it. I thought it was a really good I just thought it was a great film. I still love it now. I love films like... That's my number one. But they're like, Now You See Me, the magician film. Great. I feel like someone's going to come barge into my room. Okay. Um, now You See Me. What else? Some Trinians. Someone is lurking outside my door. I can hear them creaking around. Um, some Trinians. Oh my God, Nancy Drew with Emma Roberts. I loved Aquamarine. Oh my god, such great films. Do you, what are your favourite YouTubers? <laughs> Sophia and Chintzia. I love them. I have literally been watching them for the longest time. Like, honestly, since they had, I think it was something like 800 subscribers. I was so chuffed that I found them. It was just by chance. You know when you get stuck in a YouTube hole? They, like, video came up on the side. Clicked on it. Never looked back. I love them. Me and Frankie are going to go see them on tour when Marona pisses off and we can actually leave the house. They're having a tour call. Are you single or taken? Taken by my boyfriend. Hi, Dominic. Um, what is your idea of a dream date? Um, I don't know, a fun activity? Not really like a meal because I feel like you just spend time eating. Like, how do you talk? Like, we used to, when I like first started like going out with Dom, we went to like Sea Life Centre, or like walks. Oh my god, bike rides. We love going on bike rides. Oh, fucking saddle. Oh, the next day you actually can't walk. But apart from that, so fun. But anything fun like an activity. Um, how would you describe your? F oh, how long was your longest relationship? And this is my first relationship, and it's ten months. I just had to do the bronzer and stuff because I can't talk while doing that. Um, your most memorable vacation memory? Disneyland, Florida. I was meant to go in there this summer. In fact, in a month and a half, I should be there. My mum's devo. She was meant to go in for a 50th baby well, I so she's turned 50 this year. She was meant to be going. That's not why we're going, but it coincided nicely for a big 50th. It's going to be spent in the garden now um for eyebrows and do i want to fill them in i did recently dye them actually because i don't know if i need to fill them in i also feel like this video is going to be so long because i'm really nervous and i'm just talking hang on brb i'm gonna go get from over there hey hi boys and girls i'm back got my brow thing i don't really want to fill them in because oh my god there's actually makeup all over these sheets and we just changed them white 
white sheets. So I just use this little um, brow. What even is this? Brow tint? It's not a tint. I don't even can't remember what that is. Just tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. You wouldn't know anything, would you? Because this is my first video. Um, what is your favourite Netflix show? I'm actually going to put a lip the brow pod product. Um, my favourite Netflix show. Oh my god, I'm watching Money Heist at the minute and I love it. So, so, so good. I'm so late to the party. I was a bit put off by the fact that, despite my brilliant Spanish speaking, I was a bit put off by the fact that it actually is a Spanish film, film, TV series, and that it was actually like a voiceover, a British voiceover, but then Dom convinced me to watch it and it's actually so, so, so good. So really enjoying it. And you can't even tell that they're Spanish and it's like, a voiceover like dubbed it's done so well um i also like is it good girls bad girls good girls it's like the three mums who end up getting like caught up in this whole drug situation that's so good and it's really funny um, what's your favorite genre of film and why eva good chip flip i feel like i just don't make them anymore do they no they don't i'm answering for you because you can't i'm loving you know i'm watching this they don't no anger songs kind of things. St. Trinian's Wild Child. Where are all those? But, so if I get bored of watching those on repeat, I'll watch like, Now You See Me. Great film. Anything like that, focused. What was your dream job as a kid? I wanted to be a zookeeper with the giraffes. Then I established that I've actually got a severe phobia of birds. Um, quite a few hoofed animals as well. Not giraffes, actually. What is your coffee order? Iced Americano with room for milk. I'm not really, I don't really buy coffee because I can make it by the batch at home. Like instant coffee, like a huge thing, two pounds. I'm not gonna pay four pounds for one cup, am I? But like if I go to like a restaurant and they have it after a meal, a latte. Oh no, what did me and Dom have in Amsterdam? Iced caramel latte with soy milk. Jeez, that was absolute sensational. I finished my makeup because it's just taking me way too long. Um, and I feel like this is already really long video. What is one thing you wish people knew about you? Um, I'm not as mean as I look. I think, well, I know, but I have a really bad like resting bitch face. Like, I look nasty. I'm not. I'm actually fucking weird and hopefully I make you giggle. Like, I'm not actually mean. <laughs> uh, what social media are you addicted to? I won't say I'm addicted. If you're addicted to social media, you might want to go on a bit of a detox. I probably shouldn't be addicted to it, but I love a scroll through Insta as much as anybody. Twitter, though. Twitter is the best one. I feel like everyone is just so real on Twitter, and if I feel like I'm having an existential crisis, I go on Twitter and someone else is having the exact same crisis. It's just so much more relatable. Like, Instagram is definitely like a highlight reel, isn't it? Like, it's so much more real on Twitter. What's your biggest struggle you overcame? Confidence, for sure. I was such a self, self-conscious person, but then, like, I overcompensated from being so self-conscious with being so, like, <laughs> it's fucking annoying. If I go back, I'd literally just put a zip on my mouth. So fucking annoying. But, yeah, like, being way more confident in myself now, you don't feel like you have to overcompensate in other ways. Um, yeah, so, like, I felt so insecure. I used to be so gobby to make it look like I was confident, but I wasn't. It was just fucking annoying. It just pissed people off. What are you happiest with in your life? Oh, that's a lovely one to finish on, isn't it? Everything. I mean, it's not great. I can't go outside, but, I mean, it's, it is what it is. But, like, friends, like, boyfriend. I'm doing something I love at uni. Also... Although Rona did throw a spanner in the works by me having to leave uni, uni and coming home. I'm actually getting to spend so much time with my family, which is so nice. I'm just hair on my sock, hair everywhere. I just shed, I should have no hair left, I just shed everywhere. Yeah, but like not being at uni and having to come home, I have so much time with my family, which is really nice. So yeah, happiest with my friends, met some great girls at uni who are definitely my best friends. And it's just great loving life and also i'm happy now because i've finally grown a pair of fucking balls i made a youtube video and a channel 
oh my god if you see the banner that says lucy as well that took me about three hours to make so please just take a moment to look at it <laughs> all you people watching all you millions of people it took me so long to make it was so much fun though and yeah this is my first video i'm gonna go and edit it i mean i don't think there's that much to edit but um i can't wait to upload it and see if anyone watches it if anyone likes it if anybody does watch it and you like it comment like what you want me to film a bit a bit restricted a bit limited because i'm stuck indoors but i don't know it's fun i had so much fun doing this talking my favorite thing to do doing makeup favorite thing to do so yeah if you enjoyed it please subscribe <laughs> uh what did i say like subscribe and comment oh slap and bark as well and smash a big thumbs up so smash a big thumbs up <laughs> And yeah, I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Because I loved making this. I really enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.